Hi, Wednesday. Better brain, at least, I think, um, than what you had on Mondays. And just because I felt like it, we're doing Vermont again. Because I want to, goddammit. I'm in the process of apartment hunting. Uh, so, maybe I'll use this as uh, prospects to where I'm going to go. But I don't know where. So, I'm going to use the whole state as a uh, guess to find out where I'm going to go. I may have actually... Hmm. Already uh, done this particular map, but whatever. I think that's East Chicago. Probably not. So they guarantee good quality, no like bad photos. So uh, disclaimer: even though the state, yes, I'm not going to know <clears throat> instantaneously where everything is here. So I'm gonna try. God damn it! You have my you have my promise. <laughs> Anyway, let's do some house cleaning again. Thanks for the comments. And yes, I did know about Afrikaans. I mentioned it maybe a few times, but brain was definitely not working as well as it could have. I don't know where you're going to be a sheriff here. Well, we've got Canadian flag, but I've seen Canadian flags throughout the state, not just technically right next to the Canadian-U.S. border. So not... I don't want to go there. I want to go... I want to... I want to, why can't, what happened? Am I just, am I, okay, I guess I'm going, I'm going this way. All right. I don't want to go down this road, but here we are. None of this is familiar to me, so I have no idea where in the state this is. This gets very <clears throat> out there. I'm going to hit home and go the other way. I'm going to hit home and go the other way. Um... Yeah, there is a chance I may see a place I recognize here, but, you know, being in this state, it ain't big, but there's still quite a bit of the state I've not actually personally been to myself, so I may talk big game in the sense that I've been to this, I, I know this state more than any other state, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh, sorry, heart swallow. Um, yes, I did know about Afrikaans, did not register with my brain. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, the Belgium thing. That was a whole other, you know, that's one of the things with like Switzerland, Belgium. Uh, I don't know if so much with other countries where you're kind of predominantly, you're a tiny country, you know, regionally speaking compared to your neighbors and the French kind of supersedes your own language but you know or your local whatever you want to call it i forget what you actually Wallach, wallachia even though i thought that was more of a holy roman empire province having their own local belgian belgique whatever you want to call it local language i have no idea where this is Nothing has popped out to me i've not seen any road signs or anything to let me know where this is i have this no, i've seen no lakes None of these houses look like anything to me. Um, this definitely is not Northeast Kingdom. And well, there's regions of Vermont. I, I guess I should suss this out where you've kind of got the Northeast Kingdom, which is extremely underdeveloped, which is this area up here. Um, you got Burlington and basically everywhere else is usually the joke people have. I'm going to say we're over here. I don't know where this is. Um, Burlington, biggest city, second biggest city, Rutland, which is Rut Vegas. <clears throat> oh, we were up north here in, uh, just off Concord. I've not been to any of these. I've been to St. Johnsbury, but that don't matter. Nothing there told me anything. This, I may know where this is. I feel like if there's a golf course up here, I know where this is. Although... Uh, I don't think it's, I don't think it's the road I thought it was now. Okay. Come on. Load up. I need, I need, I, thank you. Wait, yes, I know where this is now. I take this road all the time. All right. So we're going to go up to this turn here. I'm going to see if I can't 
memorized. There's a very big fancy house with a lawn that every time I drive by, I was like, this guy takes forever to mow this lawn. <clears throat> We're on this truck stop I see all the time. It's halfway house. This is, yeah, Route 22A. Whenever I would go to college from home, I would take one of two roads to get to Burlington. And, okay, I think we're before Bridport, man. Exactly where we are, I don't know. This is a concern. Okay, Bridport, I don't remember if we're before that or after that. Uh, what's this? Cream Hill Road? I don't think, no, it's Latham. Latham. Yeah, here we go. Halfway house. This is where it is. So that's the turn. We're like right here on this photo right here. But <clears throat> we're back this way a bit. I'm going to hit home. All right, so we, we have a turn back this way. So we're like right here, I think. If I can see where Duffany, if Duffany is like over here, then it's it's farther down the road. But there's two roads you can take to get to Burlington from where I grew up. And I would visit there whenever I'd have college breaks or whatnot. And I'd take this road up about an hour, like hour 15, hour 30 to get to uh, Burlington from home. Very scenic. One super annoying thing. Uh, this especially was a problem when I was a kid, or not a kid, um, when I lived up in Burlington and I'd drive back to the family. I would leave in the morning and sun is rising from this direction. No, sun is over here. So when you're driving, the sun is going to be on your left side of the body. <clears throat> now, for those non-British people, we don't drive your way. So, you know, driving this way down the road, your arms on the left side. Driving this way, arms on the left side, facing this way. So the sun, where did I put us? Uh, let's halfway house was there in the set of turns, so we're like right here. So in the morning, sun's on your left side. Driving back home, sun's on your left side. So like it or not, you were going to get one half of your body with a uh, the suntan. Maybe we'll see if we can't see a farm if that farm's posted anywhere here. So there was times when I'd be driving back home back up to Burlington, and I was like, I've had the sun on half of my body substantially long enough time that I'm, you can see, like, half my, half my face is tan, and I hated it. I had half tan. It was, it was hilariously awful. And I would take a jacket and wrap it around my head just so I could see my face, because I would put the side, um, the sun visor thing, you could pull it down, put it off to the side, try it to block the sun, does not completely block out all the sun, and I'd still get a bunch of it on my head, and, uh, oh, I know exactly where this is. I do not need to look anymore. This is, this is um, very close to where I grew up as a child, so we're going to get myself situated so I know exactly where we are, which is right here. We are right there. <clears throat> All right. How much? How much you want to guess? Want to bet? Because that's the bridge. I drove, like, this is very close to where I was as a child. And I want to see what's actually here in Castleton there was a book I had to read as a kid I finished an anecdote about the side face tan thing hating it a bunch it was not fun I'm going to go down this road just to uh, get into the town of Castleton because as a kid going to the elementary school here um, there was a book that they made us read um, called The Blue Cat of Castleton by Catherine Kate Koblenz, I believe was her name. Don't ask me anything about the book. I know I had to read it as a kid. See Castle and Motors, Castle and Motors. Um, and 
they were just talking big deal about it just because it was Castleton. And they had their own book written about it. Um, if we go far enough, let's see if I can actually get to it in time. If you've heard of the band Stained and the lead singer, whom's name I do not remember right now, um, is from this town, the tiny town of Castleton. Uh, I believe he lived, um, if I remember correctly, uh, it was either up this road, it was either up this way, or it was a little farther down the road here. Um, uh, maybe up here, I think. It was around this area he grew up. Might have been up this road. But it was around this area. Like, if I remember correctly, I know that he, he, he would talk about it. But I remember coming here, and this used to actually be a drive-in movie theater. I don't remember seeing any movies here except for Good Morning Vietnam and something else. I just remember because as a very small kid, I woke up and uh, in the middle, it's like one of those things when you're a kid and you immediately remember. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're just off here. I'm going to hit make. I'll, I'll finish the side thing first. We're like, it's just one of those memories you just don't ever forget, even though you wish you could. It's just one of those dumb, random things, and this happened to be a kid thing. And this is just me remembering that little bit of seeing uh, Good Morning Vietnam. I mean, it could also be a false memory, and there's no way it could have been that, because maybe Good Morning Vietnam came out before I could have possibly seen it. Make my guess. Okay. You saw where that was. We were way closer to the water than what the GPS had it has. I'm I'm a little little miffed about that one. You can see like how confident I was. There was no way that shouldn't have been what I thought it was. This I don't know. Nothing here is standing out to me. Um Waybridge. Well, this is Route 23. I have no idea where that is. But if you ever want to see, or like super remote stuff, you come look at the stuff up here where like towns are, are like 10 people. Like they're incorporated, like I forget what they're called. They're not towns. They're not like. They're two steps below town in order for them to qualify to be a town. All right, so I'm not seeing this. I don't know where Waybridge is. This technically Waybridge? I don't know. Um, I think this. No, that's not going to tell me the sign. Uh, let's see. What's what's this sign say? That's the speed limit. <sighs> yep. Uh, I don't know. Is this Bridalboro? I don't think it is. Is this another speed limit? It can't be. Yeah, reduce speed ahead. Okay. Hmm. I don't know where this is. I'm going to hit home and maybe take a little bit more of a uh, gander over here. These little historic markers they have all over the state. Uh, you know it's a historic location. Yeah, this might be like the Bennington Monument or something, but I feel like it should be a bigger deal. Bennington's a bigger town than this. Maybe this is... Hmm. I'm looking for... Well, maybe if I look at what this says. Monument Farms Dairy. Okay. Monument Farms is where? Man. Did I say Weybridge? Isn't that up here? Why am I asking you guys? I don't know if you would know. I'm just eyeballing closely. I doubt I'm going to see it, but we're going to look. This is what I hiked over the weekend. was Mount Mansfield, now that you know. Calais. A lot of French stuff up here because, you know, French Canadians and all that. Um, Corinth, Chelsea, Tunbridge. Um, I haven't seen that, what was it, 23? 
I'm gonna go back and look. Get me. Whoa, instantly bad photos. Get me on the road. Get me on the road, please. Thank you. Yeah, Route 23. Uh, keep an eye out for that. Let me know when you see it, all right? You have 48 seconds. I don't think I'm going to find it. Let's zoom back out. This is super south. Okay. Um. I'm panicking. I'm not finding it anywhere here. Where are you? Well, 25, you're close. Uh, 18 seconds. Come on, come on. Just just pop out at me. Just let me see you. I'm not, I, I, I'm not asking much. We're at the border again. How did we get up here so fast? How can I have missed this? How far away? I'm like so far away, I bet. Actually, we were farther closer to, uh, how did I not know that? I drive by that all the time, apparently. I mean, it must have been one of those side roads. I don't give, I, I just never really bother going by. Well, for as confident, uh, uh, confident's the wrong word, because I never really said, it. get off the, God damn screen. And I never expected to, you know, ace everything unless I got lucky like I did on that one where it was basically a place I drove by all the time as a kid. I think I know where this is now because we're going to, if this is what I think it is, we're going to come to the town of Lester. No, this is this is not what I thought it was. Although this still could be, we're gonna blur blur out. Why are we why are we blur the willows? Okay, we're near a mountain resort. We're near a ski resort. Three mountain. Is this like Stowe? Oh, we're on junction of Route One Hundred. Let's find it. There's One Hundred, which you know goes right by Killington Ludlow. Fun fact that Killington was so mad about tax rates for a certain, what was it, Act 250 or something? This is all stuff you can look up on your own time. That they were seriously considering um, leaving the state of Vermont becoming part of uh, um, New Hampshire. Londonderry. All right, I got to look for Londonderry. Which I feel should be closer to down here, shouldn't it? There's Londonderry. Where's Magic Mountain? Is it Magic Mountain down here? No. We got South Londonderry. There's Magic Mountain. Okay. We're going to move up a bit here. Like, if you know about the the mountains in the east... You know, there's nothing really comparing to a lot of the Rocky Mountains as far as skiing goes, but Killington's a big one. You got Stowe, Jay Peak up here, Sugarbush, all stuff I never bothered skiing as a kid because skiing's expensive. And we were poor. So we got Route 30 continuing this way, and then Route 100's over here. So Route 30. There's Route 30. Route 30. So we're actually. Down here, then. Uh, Muleman's Craft Drop. No. Then we got... Hey, look at all the flags we, we have here. We, we respect all of you. Canadians, Swedish, Austrian, Norwegians, Italians, Opens, and uh, Swiss. And we're at the junction... South 100 and South 30. Uh, Mountain Riders. I feel like I'm missing it here. It keeps sport. Yeah, this is... Um, three Mountain... No, no, no. All right, we got Mountain Riders. Which is here. Muleman's... This is Muleman's, isn't it? Oh, we instantly got to some shitty 
quality. Get us back. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, we're like back here then, aren't we? Let's hit home and look for that ski shop back this way. See if it is very close. I have very little time. Store boat. Stone boat. Oh, fuck. I was on the, the wrong side, apparently. Well, for as much as I thought, this is uh, all I've got to show for it. It's a, uh, at least it moved for me, an easy ride into uh, a Wednesday going into a Friday. Um, yeah. Thanks again for watching. Again, if you guys have any thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, any other stuff, maybe you want me to do more of these, maybe you're sick of seeing Vermont, I don't know. Let me know. I will definitely get back to you. So until then, have a good week. We will definitely see you later. Have a good one, folks. Goodbye.